Представляем ваше внимание, трехраундовый бой в наилегчайшем весе. В синем углу рейджа спортсмен из Швейцарии представляет команду First MMA Team. Встречайте! Фредерико Гуцвиллер по прозвищу Москит. Federico Gutzwiller from Switzerland. Born in that country to a Brazilian mother and a Swiss father, then lived in Brazil from ages three through 18, where he started training in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which he now holds the rank of Purple Belt. Three and two is his pro MMA record as he enters this, the opening bout of M1 Challenge 85 from Moscow. All three of Gutzwiller's pro MMA victories coming by way of first round submission. A fighter meeting Gutzwiller said he fight. He will throw a constant submission. He is also very confident with his leg locks. Спортсмен в красном углу Риджа из Грузии представляет Гурам Файт Клаб. Встречайте, Важа Типтаури! Салса Калдебса, Укуда Уебиса Хезеди. Аргаут Сулимешев сам Шоблос, Свободный сам от Хезеди. Сам Шоблос, Рогор Супан, Эркия Пеханазин. Gipta Uri making his M1 debut tonight. Two and one is his pro MMA record. And he has won his last two fights. He said that he wants to keep this fight standing just as Goodsbeeler wants to take this to the ground quickly. Gipta Uri told me he wants to be extremely aggressive with his striking. Keep mixing punches and kicks from the outside. Come forward with heavy pressure in this stand-up, but not so close as to get to the takedown and clinch range of his opponent, Frederico Gutzwiller. Sifteruri said striking is absolutely his key to victory. Get us started. Here's Artemen. Итак, господа, турнир M1 Challenge 85 открывает трехраундовый поединок в наилегчайшем весе. Представляю вам спортсменов. Спортсмен в синем углу. Ему 23 года. Вес 56,6 кг. Рост 160 см. Профессиональный рекорд. Три победы, два поражения. Он обладатель пурпурного пояса по бразильскому джиу-джитсу. Чемпион Швейцарии по бразильскому джиу-джитсу. Представляет команду First MMA Team. В синем углу по прозвищу Москит Фредерико Гуцвиллер. Своим единоборством чемпион Грузии по кикбоксингу представляет Гурам Файт Клаб. Важа Типтаури. Грузия. Рефери в ринге Николай Шарипов, Россия. Fighter to the center. You guys are professional. Respect each other. Abs at rules, okay? Remount in the back. Not working. Elbow to your head. Not working in the spine. Not work. Knee to the head. Only standing, okay? Listen to my comments. Shoot hands. Good luck. 
in the flyweight division. Frederico Gutzwiller of Switzerland versus Vaja Jack. Sipta Uri Jack. of Georgia. Jack. With the great I Ian the Machine I Freeman, I'm Sean Jack. Wheelock. Round number one, the opening bout. M1 Challenge 85 from Olympic Stadium in Moscow. He speaks good English. He said to us that he's going to take this to the ground and win with emphatic submission. So let's see if he does it, Sean. Good Zwieler in the black trunks to the inside. Sip to Uri in the camouflage trunks, trying to keep this fight standing. Reaching under, Sip to Uri. Yeah, well, Good Zwieler has a leg on the inside. He could maybe take that out and try and take the back. But he's getting taken to the ground. Takedown, nearly the switch from Good Zwieler. And that's a counter takedown from Sipta Uri, initiated by Federico Gutzwiller. Oh, Sipta Uri grabbing the ropes, which is illegal. Obviously, he's just trying to get his balance. He's now in top position. Come down into my guard. Now the stand-up from referee Nikolai Sharipov. Yeah, Sharipov is telling him to leave, go with the ropes. He told him off for that. Sipta Uri coming forward out of the southpaw stance. Right back to the inside comes Gutzwiller. Nice body lock. Oh, beautiful on that trip. Zip to Uri is the one who's doing all the takedowns here. He's had two so far. But the legs are climbing high for Gutzwiller. High closed guard from Gutzwiller. Right to the body. Now to the head from Zip to Uri. And another, not as much on that right hand. Back no, to the body. Not, not much power, Sean. He needs to sit back and posture. There we go. That's better. Just not the spine. It's not the easiest point to see when you're lying on your back door, Sean, is it? It's very hard to determine whether it's going on the spine or the kidney. And to be honest, for the, the power that you can create with those heel kicks, I don't think it makes much difference. Reaction, guys. I'd like to know who sits and makes these rules up. <laughs> Someone who's never grappled. Just like the, the, the 12 till 6 elbow. You know, someone sort of breaking bricks before in a martial arts contest, so they don't allow it in MMA. Which is quite silly when every other elbow was legal. The worst rule in the unified rules. Under the M1 global rules set, 12 to 6 elbows are legal, but not to the head, only to the body. 150 remaining round number one of this flyweight fight. A little bit too late, he should have done it on the way over. And the half butterfly guard for Goodsfeeler. Posturing up now into the closed guard, Sipta Uri looking for the ground and pound. And that's a shame he lost his balance, good Vila, but that's one of the, the things you should practice. As soon as you go high on the rear mount, grab the arm on the way over. Big hammer fist in the right hand, Vasha Sipta Uri. Now 70 seconds remaining round one. Yeah, good Vila needs to throw some punches, some solid punches, try and open up an Action, arm. Action. Sipta Uri is just going tight. He's keeping himself nice and tight with the elbows in. The machine, we see those heel strikes again. That's Goodsfeeler just trying to get Sipta Uri to change his posture and his position. Not working. Tight closed guard now low again for the Swiss, Federico Goodsfeeler. Nice hammer fist. That's better ground and pound. He postured back this time. Bigger shots now from Sipta yeah, Uri. he's getting through as well. Decides to step back with 15 seconds. See the patience here of Russian referee Nikolai Sharipov. No speak. Sip to Uri waving Good Zwieler up. Now there's the stand up order by Sharipov. Final seconds, round number one. We are headed to round two. Yeah, Sip to Uri had a good round there, I believe, because every time that Good Zwieler went for the takedown, it was Sip to Uri that actually got the finish of that takedown. Great top position, good ground and pound. The opening round, Good Zwieler. As he said in our fighter meeting yesterday, wanted to take this fight to the ground. But it was Sipta Uri hitting an early takedown and also hitting a gorgeous trip. Sipta is trying to explode back to the inside, landing that right hand, and as you see, then locking up. It was the late round number one, ground and pound from Vaja Sipta Uri. Fight. Round number two. Good feeler would be wise to try and open on that low kick. 
Side kick, counter body kick from Septuuri. Yeah, again, good feel it. He's, he's uh, shown exactly what he has, which is a takedown attempt, and he's shooting from way out. Good feeler. Inviting Sipta Uri in, and he's not going to play. Now the stand up from Shari Paz. Well, the corner, I'm not exactly sure what they're screaming at Sipta Uri, but they are screaming at him for some reason. Right now, Machine Federico Goodsfeeler is asking Sipta Uri to fight his fight. He's not making Uri, he's just not going to oblige. Now he's butt scooting across the canvas. It, this is not what I like to see, to be honest. I, I, do, I don't agree with this kind of MMA. And this is where the referee Nikolai Sharipov can take Action. control. He can tell Goodsfeeler stand oh, now up. He's, now he's lying on his side. Posturing, you know, playing. I'll give him a point deduction, to be honest. I don't like that kind of, kind of stuff. It was the threat of the yellow card. Sharipov pointed to his back pocket where he houses the yellow card, warning the Goodsfeeler. You know what? When I saw Goodsfeeler warm up as well, I thought, oh, he looks like he's got some kind of skill. His grappling was good. He was doing jumping kicks, high spinning kicks, flying knees. And now that he can't get his opponent down to the ground, he's, he's, he's took to fooling around. Two. Yeah, Goodsfeeler needs to get out of there. He's just covering his head. It's not intelligently defending yourself. The referee is right over the top of them. Unanswered strikes. Big by Sharipov taking a closer look. Vaja Sikdavuri pouring things on now. Nice big right hand. Big smile from Goodsfeeler. Well, I think the smile was kind of saving grace that he stopped, to be honest. That butterfly guard from Goodsfeeler. This is a very unusual fight. Goodsfeeler clearly wants it on the ground. Sipdaguri clearly wants it on the feet. They're meeting in the middle right now. In the ground and pound position for Bacha Sipdaguri. Relying for one submission only, which I believe is the, the triangle attempt, because you can see him trying to push the arm through. 120 remaining round number two. Sipdaguri losing his patience on the ground, and again you see Goodsfield. Sipdaguri needs to step back, he needs to step way back. And the referee will take that as an indication that he wants his opponent to stand. Then again, why step back when you ground and pounce connecting like this? Oh, that right nice, hand getting through. Nice huh? right hand. This is claiming he was poked in the eye. We fight on. Poked in the eye with a closed glove, I think. Sitori being Stop. very cautious. Now this from that long range that he talked about in our fighter meeting, the range that he wants to land power punches and kicks. Oh, nice liver kick. Was big in the left hand. That backs off Goodsfeeler. Fifteen seconds remaining, round two. Left hand from Sipta Uri, and again, oh, no. good feeling, just taking himself to the canvas. Well, I, I might, I'm kind of stuck for words to do. That's the end of round two. The referee needs to have a stern word with him. We are on online and on global. Round number two. Machine on Sunday, November 12th. That's the 24th anniversary of the first UFC created by the great Art Davey. This is a match that somehow feels like the 1990s of what we're seeing. Fight! There's some time warp elements to this fight. Driving in now for the takedown again is good. The corner. He has to turn the corner. That's good. Now oh, he hits guillotine. the takedown. Close guard on the guillotine attempt. Oh, that looks tight as well. That looks very tight indeed. He needs to try and drop his elbow down. And there we go. There's the tap. And that and is the win for Baja Sipta Uri. He's out. Look at that. Well, more work and less playing around. 
Gutzwiller wanted this fight on the ground, okay. and ironically, that's where he lost this fight, not just by being submitted, but with the ground and pound of Sipta Uri in rounds one and two. You know, from what I can see, Gutzwiller is still warming up because he does have athleticism, and I did enjoy what I was watching. He needs to focus on the win instead of clowning around. If he doesn't get his own way, clowning around is not, it's not going to make you get your own way, it's going to make you look silly. Уважаемые поклонники смешанных боевых единоборств на первой минуте третьего раунда удушающим приемом в этом поединке одержал победу Важа Типтаури Грузия Гурам Файт Клаб. Beating that guillotine for the third round submission. Gutzwiller coming in very confident in his grappling in his Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Sipkauri that he would have to rely largely on his stand-up, on his power punches and kicks from range in this fight. Immediately, Gutzwiller coming in, closing distance in this bout, trying to take it to the ground, landing that big right hand, immediately locking up. Gutzwiller continually taking himself to the canvas, inviting Ronald Sipkaburi to come down. Basically, a grappling match. That was the second round takedown attempt Switch from Sipkuri straight to the ground and pound. A really effective ground and pound in rounds one and two for Vasha Sipkuri. Submission: Vasha Sipkuri defeats Frederico Gutzwiller.